Chapter 13 Git commit. Now that we have covered the git add command and know about the staging area, the next step on our learning path is the git commit command. The git commit command is how we tell git to take the data that is in our staging area and add it to the DAG. To do so, git will create a commit object and add labels to it. It will calculate a checksum and add it to the commit object in the DAG to link it to its parent commit. Git will also move the head label, remember, head is the equivalence of a you are here marker, Git will move the head label to point to our new commit. It will also move the main label to our new commit to indicate that this is the tip of the main branch. But don't, don't take my word for it. Let's try it out by typing git commit. When we do so, Git will open an editor to allow us to write the commit message. We'll talk about writing good commit messages later. For now, let's just write my first commit and then save and close the file. Git will show us some output, including the branch we are on, main, the first couple of characters of the commit ID or checksum, as well as some other info. If you pay close attention, you will see that right after the branch name it says root commit. That's because the commit we just added to the DAG is special. It is, and will forever be, the only commit in our entire index, or DAG if you will, that does not have a parent commit. This root commit is the source of our river of data from which everything else will spring.